Okay, do it again. Hey, today Ruby and I are going to play with the Fluid Art Kit and talk about ways to use it in a diary. Yes. Actually, look, we're both in it. That's amazing. That is so cool. Okay, so basically we're going to use titanium white as the underpainting and a vehicle for what's going to happen. So, all I'm doing is making something to pour paints on. So it's like a base. It's a base and I like white. Oops. <laughs> That's a, a problem when you don't cover the end. These paints all have to be mixed up and what's frustrating is eventually a little blob will form that has to be pulled out. Okay. So you want to keep a towel nearby and paper towels. Here's my towel for, there will be a mess. <laughs> it that's, is a messy process. It's a messy process. Well, that's what makes it fun, right? <laughs> right. The whole idea is letting go. Easier said than done. There's a glob in there, and I should have taken it out, but I'm going to just let it be. Now I have to get it out. What I, this is actually a good thing to show people is the blobs. So, and that just happens because the, the paint gets dried out, or? Any time these paints sit around, you will have always to have to have a safety pin. Uh, yeah, because yeah, it just gets dried out. Yeah, yeah and I this see. is what you will be harvesting. <laughs> <laughs> dried out, funky paint. paint. That's, it's always at the end, always. And in the paint bottle, there is a marble for, see that's what you get. Yeah. And you don't want that, yeah. trust me. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but it looks like it's just dry. It's just dry paint. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to be graphic. Right, right. See, and sometimes you think you've got it, but there it is. There okay. we go. All right. Yes. So, anyway, the whole idea is you can use white, you can use blue. It really doesn't matter. You need a solid, and not that thick, but there's really no guidelines for it. All right. Well, that's the foundation. Right. Basically, this is. The fun part of it is getting it on here. <laughs> and the beauty of this paint system is that it's already mixed. The only thing I occasionally have to do is add water. I do sometimes use Floetrol. Floetrol is what we use when we paint houses. And the beauty of wearing gloves, I might add. Mm -hmm. Because when you get frustrated with these palette knives. Yeah, you can just ah. Yeah, just take your gloves and whoosh. It's finger fingers. They all get the DNA on on the canvas. So now the next part of it is simply layering paints. Now we have many colors, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put, I always like white on the bottom personally. Mm -hmm. I'm going to think about where I wish I were, okay. which is any ocean anywhere. Right. So you like the ocean. I like the ocean. I'm going to just layer and I'll show you how to layer this. Some people have other techniques. I love having it at the, at the edges. So you just pour the I don't know why, but I like edges. that, yeah. Other people avoid the edges and do it halfway, so. I'm just telling you that there's probably. What does avoiding the edges mean? They do a little stripey thing. And so you just do it in there. You can just the camera Can you see it? I don't know. Yeah, okay. It's personal. Oh, so they don't touch the edges. Yeah, like how everybody, obviously. I've seen this done a, a jillion ways. It, right. From here, cool. yeah, you cannot control fluid art. Right. This is the whole <laughs> letting go like that. That's a good example. Now, what happened to my little red thing? I don't know, but I have to find it. That's right here. All the little red things should be there. <laughs> I have another little red thing over here. But as you can see, be free. That's what he's talking about. Yes. This is a freeing art form. Control freaks. I don't know what to have. <laughs> you may have to. So is this, yeah, it's a way of teaching you what is a, a, a loss of control, maybe. You like finger painting. Yeah. Um, psychologically, mm -hmm. we've noticed <laughs> some positive changes in in many people. That have to do, I think, with traumatic memories. 
mm. moving around. Right. Yeah, because we're dealing with unconscious here, and it's very personal. Mm -hmm. What works for me may be the opposite. You may want to put black on or whatever. Right, right. Another great color is metallic gold. Mm. And this is a wonderful metallic gold. Very opaque. So you're just not, you're not even thinking about what Well, you're I doing. am on some level. Yeah. It's like I'm in a dream state. You're kind of just kind of letting your instinct take over. Right. I, I really think the important thing psychologically is to give yourself permission to not have to control. To not control. I mean, everything we do in life right. involves control. This is true, in one form or another. So after a certain point when I feel like I have enough volume and it's the weight of the cup, mm -hmm. I will do what's called a flip. And then I'm gonna show a dirty pour too. Okay. But the idea is there are many ways to move the paint once I do that too. Right. But it's all about freedom. Okay. So I picked sort of a little beachy cut scene, flipping it over. And the reason I have cups set under here, of course, is to prevent the paint pooling. Okay. Because we don't want this to stick. Yeah, anyway, I think you can see this. Okay, I think we're in frame, sort of. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm shooty. Maybe you might, back you might get it, yeah, that might be a little better. Uh, so it now, like, like, too much. Yeah. I'm gonna get, what, did, we're experimenting with light here. Yeah. We'll get it eventually, but let's find, yeah. a, let's find a pin somewhere here. I'm using small cups. show them but all we've done is put paint in here we haven't used silicon right. and there is some flotrol right. oh that's a great light is that better yeah much better okay. I don't know about there what that one I don't know about on the screen but later on we'll take people down yeah so in other words once this happens and it's moved a little bit you can let it go like that wow that's really cool is that cool yeah now I, my first instinct is I want to go and touch it. Well, that's the, <laughs> this is the hardest part of fluid art. Right. Is to wait because the weights of the paint are the densities and the um, pigment, the contrast is what's creating the image. Right, right. So the densities are colliding. This theory this was discovered in 1930 mm -hmm. by... Um, an artist from Mexico City, Cueros, mm -hmm. and he used it for murals because he needed to fill them up with large images quickly. Right. And these little bubbles that formed mm -hmm. became people's heads. Right. And right. crowd scenes. Mm -hmm. And he thought he had invented magic painting. Right. That's what he called it. It's probably access to the unconscious. So yeah. we're going to tilt it a little bit and use the weight of the paint to create the image. Now, when people do this, they mm -hmm. notice that images will disappear. Right. And that's the beauty of it, that you don't have control. Right. Some of it, I think, is the layering process. 
you know, the colors, the density of the colors, the humidity on that day. Right, right. And who you are that day, because we're always changing. Right. So is it kind of a reflection of your inner self? I think it's both a reflection and a, and a technique for getting to your dream state. Mm. You know, the colors that I use one day are very different from the colors that I use another day. Of course, yes. So I learn a lot about what's going on with me when I look at, a month later, look at the four. Right. And if you can keep a record of it, some might say it could be magic. Yes. Actually, this is what um, automatic writing is similar to this. Right. Or just reading stones or tarot yes, cards. Yes, exactly. Or... The projective techniques, sand trays that Jung, Carl Jung used with children. Mm -hmm. So the images that emerge are very personal. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna make another pour, let this one settle, which is hard, because I wanna, I'll show you what I could do. Whoa. Oh, that's neat. See how tempting it is? Mm-hmm, yeah, because you wanna, you wanna I could do that all the time, right? Right, 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 now you're fussing with it. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is what is the enemy of fluid art. It's fussing. It's fussing. You gotta let it be. Just let it be and walk away, right? Yes. How many times do I walk away? Rarely. <laughs> But it would be better, see how when I do this, the levels that are underneath sometimes come up. It's just gravity and getting rid of air bubbles. Mm -hmm. And so that's what you're doing with that? You know, um, depending on the medium I use, I, sometimes uh, with silicon, it really does bring up a lot more mm -hmm. what we call cells. And the other thing is to take white, um, make some white. create an image. Mm -hmm. All I'm doing is floating white in here right, and, and then yeah. seeing what happens because you're dividing your pore and in that negative space you allow something to happen that would never have happened. Oh wow, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Because it looks like a feather almost. Yeah. Just being open to possibilities. Right. Yeah, for a minute I almost saw a peacock. Now I see an eagle. Yes, exactly, at the top. Mm -hmm. But it's really about trusting you, trusting your intuition. Right. Now, I never would have done this today. I don't know what made me do it. <laughs> but see, that's part of the growth that happens. Right. And uh, that I've observed in myself is that the process has a life of its own. Now, I was going to put another pour on top of this. Right. What what happens is you take the cup. Well, this one has little dots in it. I think I shouldn't do that. But you can take another cup and just, while that's settling, because remember, what you see, you may not see in the end. Right. See how this is coming up, these colors in here? Mm -hmm. oh, wow. I see a starry night sky. Yeah. See a man on a mountain. You can do this very, very lightly. And see, when you pull back, something will, an image will come up with the knives that are in this. <clears throat> but some people will take other paints and layer them. And this is a flip. And another technique is just a dirty pour. Some people call it a ribbon pour. I'm just going to use some colors that are in here. Yep. Actually, I'm gonna put black is tricky, and um, I need to put just a little bit of black in here for drama. Mm -hmm. Tiny, tiny little bit. Never a lot because it will take over. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Well, black is the absence of color. This is what's tricky. Getting this out and not spilling it everywhere. The tiniest little bit. That's plenty. With a little bit of the gold. If you look in the cup, you can see selling already happening. 
Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. So by taking a cup like this, I'm gonna have a little control of a pour around. Okay. This oh. is just called a ribbon pour. I'm just showing you the two two most commonly used techniques. Okay. The flip, and then the pour, the dirty pour. Right. Okay. And then the ribbon pour was in there. So let's heat this up. All the shapes that occur are organic. Right. They're, they're what would happen in nature. Like if you look at a starburst, images in the sky, for instance, in the clouds, they're contrasting pigments that are. Mm -hmm. It formed gases or whatever's in the sky. Right. Whatever contaminants. But see how this is so beautiful, huh? Yeah, it is. It's how the, the black and white create a whole different, almost like a Nautilus shell. So, we have a little bit of time to, to manipulate by fluid, by just pouring. Uh -huh. I think the healing quality is just you have to focus on something right other than your phone right it, 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 it makes you think keeps you in the presence exactly yeah. it's a zen process even watching the videos i noticed of people making these mm -hmm. it's meditative yeah it's like looking at a kaleidoscope yeah a little bit so let's Take the camera down. Yeah, it's almost mesmerizing. It is. You can't it's, take your eyes off. I it. know, because it, it is. It's magic. Well, yeah, it's always changing, so you're like trying to take in every detail. Right. And what happens is things that come up, You, if I left this and walked away and came back in an hour, it would be totally different. Mm -hmm. But it's completely mesmerizing. It is. It's it is. great. <laughs> I know. It is. So I'm going to put a little more white just because, see, everything's getting so, mm -hmm. well, I don't know if it will or not. Let me think. See that little bit of black, see how it took over? Mm -hmm. well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's good. Does, you don't need much of it, do Yeah, you? definitely not. And you can pour a geode. You, it's funny, you, can, you can't paint a geode, but you can pour a geode. Right. Isn't that weird? Well, it makes sense. <laughs> it's such a round, organic shape. Right. But I want to put the camera down so people can see what the cells yeah. look like. Yeah, definitely. There's still, the problem here is not, I didn't even wipe it. Let's see, can we, I can. Yeah. I'm gonna turn it this way too because it looks totally different. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm just kinda looking at over it here. Like how neat that is. And it's still moving. Yeah, it's, it's all still moving. Yeah, wow, that's beautiful. Let's see, things are emerging. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is heat it up one last time and then walk away. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're gonna do this fun thing. Oh, fun, fun. My turn next. Yeah. So let's, as much as I can to heat it up. And this is a hard thing to move around. Look at that. That's better. Oh yeah, that's perfect. But what will happen is the gold pigment will pop up too, mm -hmm. which is really crazy, the gold that she created. Okay, so that's basically what you're gonna do. Okay. Nice. You have two techniques that we've shown people, but you know, there's a lot more besides the flip cup and the ribbon pour. Right, but this is beginner technique. Beginner I've and, never done this before. Right. So. And it's a prototype for what could happen in a therapy session. Right. I'm gonna talk more about what I see as a process for trauma reduction and uh, dealing with PTSD and grief mm -hmm. in another video. So, are you Yay. ready to do it, Ruby? Really? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, we just have to click on that to stop this okay. video. Okay. That red button, and that'll be fun. Okay, did it.